Are you a first time buyer of Oahu real estate? You're about to embark on an exciting journey and I'm here to navigate you through it. So let's dive into the world of Oahu real estate. From the vibrant city life of Honolulu town to the tranquil beaches on the North Shore country, Oahu offers a diverse array of living experiences. Hawaii's real estate boasts a unique blend of properties. Do you want a modern condo with ocean views or maybe a traditional plantation style home? The choice is as diverse as the islands themselves. Navigating this market requires local expertise. Hawaiian real estate comes with its own set of rules, from land leases to zoning laws unique to the islands. Why this guy, you ask? Because buying your first home in Hawaii is an adventure unlike any other. It's not just a purchase, it's embracing a lifestyle. I understand it's a big leap. You're not just picking out a house, you're choosing a new way of living. I'm here to ensure that the journey is as smooth and delightful as possible. There are four major islands in Hawaii, Oahu, Maui, Kauai, and Big Island. I'll focus on Oahu mostly, since that's where I live and work. On Oahu, the median single family home price is currently around 1 million, and the median condo price is roughly 500,000. Now, let's talk demand. Hawaii's market is hot, with properties selling fast. Why? Limited land, increasing interest from mainland buyers, and of course, the undeniable allure of island life. This is why the median single family home price has increased by an average of 5.24% per year over the past 38 years, from 1985 to 2022. Condos median price increased by 4.68% over the same time period. There's a diverse mix of properties selling, from beachfront condos to exclusive homes in gated communities. And what's on the horizon? Expect new developments, especially in Kaka'ako and West Oahu. Now, let's immerse ourselves in Hawaii's rich local customs and community values. Understanding these is not just important, it's essential for anyone looking to call these islands home. Hawaii is a melting pot of cultures, each contributing to the island's unique community spirit. From the warmth of a beach party to the greetings of aloha and mahalo, these traditions aren't just customs, they're a way of life. When you move to Hawaii, you're not just buying a property, you're becoming part of a community that values connection, respect, and kuleana, a deep sense of responsibility for one's home and neighbors. Here, living in harmony with nature isn't a choice, it's a lifestyle. From community-led beach cleanups to preserving the natural beauty of the islands, every action reflects a commitment to the land and sea that sustains us. And let's not forget the arts. Hawaiian music, hula, and crafts are more than entertainment. They're stories of history, expressions of identity, and a celebration of the island's rich heritage. So, as you embark on your journey to homeownership in Hawaii, remember, you're stepping into a world where community values and local customs are treasures to be cherished and upheld. Embrace them and you'll find more than a home. You'll find a place where your heart truly belongs. Now, let's navigate the intriguing world of Hawaiian land ownership laws. Understanding the difference between leasehold and fee simple properties is crucial for your Hawaiian home buying journey. First up, fee simple. This is what most of us think of when we talk about buying property. It means you own the land and the building outright. In Hawaii, fee simple properties are the most common and offer the most freedom, but they often come with a higher price tag. Now, leasehold. This is unique to Hawaii and a bit more complex. You own the building or home, but you lease the land it's on, typically from a private landowner or trust. These leases can last for decades, but here's the catch. When the lease ends, the land, and often the property on it, returns to the landowner. So why would you consider leasehold? Affordability. These properties are often less expensive up front, making them attractive for those on a tighter budget or looking for a shorter term commitment. So 
If you happen to be browsing and find a home with a price that seems too good to be true, it's probably leasehold. Leasehold properties come with annual lease fees, which can increase over time, and renegotiating lease terms can be complex. This uncertainty makes them not a good choice for long-term investment. Now, let's dive into two key factors that can make your Hawaiian home buying dream a smooth sailing experience. Understanding the importance of credit scores and the power of mortgage pre-approval. First, your credit score. Think of it as your financial report card, essential not just in Hawaii, but everywhere. A strong credit score means better mortgage rates, more loan options, and a smoother approval process. A higher score can save you thousands over the life of your loan. It's all about trust, proving to the lenders that you're a safe bet. Now, let's talk pre-approval. In Hawaii's competitive market, being pre-approved for a mortgage isn't just helpful, it's a must. It shows sellers you're serious and ready to act fast. Imagine finding your dream home only to lose it because you waited to get pre-approved. Heartbreaking, right? Pre-approval gives you the speed and credibility to snap up that perfect spot. Getting pre-approved is straightforward. It involves providing your lender with financial information, which they'll review to determine how much they're willing to lend to you. If you need a good lender, reach out to me and I'll hook you up. Choosing the right lender can make or break your plans. Opt for a local lender who understands the subtleties of our market rather than a mainland lender who might pull out at the 11th hour. How does the cost of living in Hawaii compare to the mainland US? Groceries, a staple of daily life. In Hawaii, due to the cost of importing goods, expect to pay more. Milk, bread, or fresh produce, island living means higher prices. Housing, the heart of the cost debate. Hawaii's limited land and high demand create a premium market. While mainland cities vary, they generally offer more house for your dollar compared to Hawaii. Transportation, a tale of two costs. Gas prices in Hawaii can be higher than on the mainland, but many people find they drive less thanks to shorter commutes and a lifestyle that encourages walking and biking. Leisure and dining. From fine dining to local diners, Hawaii is a foodie's dream, but dining out often comes with a higher tab than similar experiences on the mainland. Honolulu especially has a dizzying array of options, from fresh seafood to unique ethnic cuisine. Overall, while Hawaii's cost of living is higher, it's all about balance. The trade-offs? Stunning nature, unique culture, and a laid-back lifestyle that many find worth the extra expense. Some of the best activities like hiking, surfing, and catching a sunset over the Pacific Ocean are all free. Let's talk about smart budgeting for your dream home in Hawaii. It's not just about the price tag, it's understanding the full picture, including hidden costs. First, let's break down the basics. Your mortgage, property taxes, and insurance, also known as PITI. But in Hawaii, we've got a few more layers to add to this. Homeowner Association fees, or HOA fees, can be a surprise if you're not prepared. They vary widely, especially if you're eyeing a condo or a community with lush amenities. These fees cover everything from landscaping to pool maintenance, so factor them in. Maintenance, it's more than just a fresh coat of paint. Hawaii's unique climate means considering costs for things like salty air corrosion, termite inspections, and even solar panel cleaning. Utilities on Oahu can also catch you off guard. Electricity and water rates are among the highest in the nation. Garbage, though, is included in services that the city and county of Honolulu provide. And don't forget, saving for a down payment is just a start. It's wise to also have an emergency fund. After all, unexpected expenses are like uninvited party guests. They show up when least expected. Effective budgeting for a home in Hawaii means being prepared for both the seen and unseen. First tip, set a clear goal. Know your target down payment for homes in your desired neighborhood and price range. Whether it's 10%, 20% or more, having a target gives you direction. Next up, scrutinize your spending. Can you cut back on dining out or luxury purchases? Redirecting these funds to your down payment can supercharge your savings. Look around you. Got stuff you don't need? Consider selling it. Whether it's an old surfboard or a designer bag, 
each sale gets you closer to your dream home. Now, let's talk about where to stash your cash. High interest savings accounts, such as Wealthfront and Treasuries, can help your down payment grow. Shop around for the best rates. And don't overlook the power of a side hustle. In today's gig economy, there are countless opportunities to earn extra income. Every dollar earned can be a dollar saved towards your home. Remember, saving for a down payment is a marathon, not a sprint. Next up, neighborhood recon. Buying a home is more than four walls. It's about the community vibe. So get out there, feel the neighborhood pulse, check out schools during pickup time, and yes, even test that rush hour commute. Let's explore the pros and cons of some neighborhoods. First stop, Honolulu, the heartbeat of Oahu. Here, you've got the best of urban living, high-rise condos, incredible shopping, and world-class dining. But remember, with city life comes the hustle and bustle, and parking can be hard to come by. Speaking of Waikiki, it's a tourist dream and could be your backyard. You're steps from the surf, but it can be crowded. Heading east, we have the tranquility of the Windward Coast, Kailua and Lanikai offer powder soft sands and a laid back vibe. The con is a bit of a commute to the city and prices can be higher. Craving a slower pace, North Shores where the surf's up all year round, it's a surfer's paradise with tight knit communities. Wailua and Mokalia area offer larger lots in what's known as country. Over on the leeward coast, you'll find more affordable housing options and sunnier days. Though it's drier and more remote, which means your commute might be longer. Traffic can be really bad during rush hours between Eva and town. Oahu isn't just a place, it's a lifestyle, and you need a realtor who knows the ins and outs of each neighborhood. I don't just present you homes, I introduce you to a community. And when it comes to negotiations, you'll want an expert who speaks the language of island real estate fluently. Someone who can navigate zoning laws, insurance, and building codes. If you like what you see, let's talk. Now, let's talk about an essential step in the Hawaiian home journey, the home inspection. In Hawaii, our homes face unique challenges. The sun blesses us with its warmth, but it also tests our roofs and fades our paint. The ocean gives us breathtaking views, yet its salty breath can whisper rust onto our dream homes. That's why a thorough home inspection is crucial. It's the detective work that uncovers the secrets the house holds, from the whispers of mildew hidden beneath that fresh coat of paint to the tales of termites dining on your potential new deck. Our tropical climate can be a paradise for dampness and mold. An expert inspector will shine a light into those dark corners. With a knowledgeable inspector by your side, you'll understand exactly what your island investment entails. They'll help you navigate potential issues so that you make the most informed decision possible. Remember, a home in Hawaii is more than a dwelling. It's your own piece of paradise. Ensuring it stands strong against our island elements means peace of mind in your palm-fringed paradise. So, insist on that thorough inspection and your Hawaiian home will be a haven of joy for years to come. The journey's almost over. You found your Hawaiian home. And now it's time for the final step, closing. Let's walk through what you should expect during the closing process. Closing is straightforward. It involves a lot of paperwork, but each document is important. You'll be signing legal papers that transfer home ownership. So make sure you understand every detail. Before you sign, you'll do a final walkthrough. This is crucial. Check that everything is exactly as agreed upon in your contract. No surprises, just confirmation that all is in order. You'll need homeowner's insurance in place by the closing date, a standard requirement by most lenders. In Hawaii, ensure it covers specific local risks to protect your investment. Be prepared for closing costs. These are fees and expenses due at closing, which include lender fees, title insurance, and prorated property taxes. Your lender should provide a closing disclosure form listing these costs in advance. As a rule of thumb, I usually estimate about 1% of the purchase price for the closing costs. At closing, after signing all documents and paying closing costs, you will need to wait at least two days before the transaction is officially recorded. At that point, you will receive the keys. That's it. 
the closing process is done and the home is yours. Just a few signatures and final checks stand between you and your new life in Hawaii. You've settled in to your dream home in Hawaii, and now it's time to talk about keeping it as stunning as the day you fell in love with it. Home maintenance in our island climate is an art as much as it is a routine. The Hawaiian climate is as beautiful as it is challenging. Our homes bask in the sun, get misted by the salt spray, and embrace the tropical rains. This means maintenance isn't just about aesthetics, it's about protection. That brilliant sun can fade paint and crack shingles fast here. Regular checkups for sunwear and applying protective coatings can save your roof and your wallet in the long run. And let's talk salty air. It gives us those stunning oceanfront views but can corrode quickly. Rinse away salt buildup regularly to keep your home in top shape. Termites in paradise? Yep, they love the island life too. But regular treatments and inspections will keep these uninvited guests away. Our rainforests are lush for a reason, and that rain finds its way into your gutters. Keep them clear to protect your paradise from water damage. For those looking to weave yourself into the community, here are a few tips. First off, dive into the community events. Whether it's a local musical festival, a craft fair, or a community class, participating is the first step to belonging. Try the ukulele or learn a few Hawaiian phrases. Language and music are pillars of the culture here and a beautiful way to show respect and enthusiasm for your new home. Next, taste the flavors of the island. Food brings people together, so visit the farmer's market and try the local dishes. Attend a neighborhood potluck or host one yourself. Sharing food and stories is a time-honored way to build friendships and trust. Giving back is a big part of living aloha. Volunteering for beach cleanups or community restoration projects doesn't just help the aina, the land, it connects you to the heart of the community. Remember, embracing Hawaiian culture is about living its values. Show respect, practice kindness, and contribute positively. And soon, you'll not just live in Hawaii, you'll be a part of it. Thanks for joining me on this journey through the ins and outs of Oahu real estate. We've seen how the vibrant city life in Honolulu compares to the tranquil beaches of the North Shore. And we've explored the importance of community in every neighborhood. We've navigated through credit scores, mortgage pre-approvals, and the often overlooked cost of living in Hawaii. If you want to get started, reach out. My contact info is in the description below. If you want to learn more about investing in Hawaii real estate, click this video.